Hey, what's up, everybody? So I haven't been doing videos for about a month now, and I um, figured I'd make another one on uh, why I do not like Facebook expediting groups. Um, I've been doing expediting since 2010. Like I said, I've been doing this for, it'll be going on 12 years in 2022. So, with that being said, the reason why I don't like Facebook expediting groups is all the stupidity and the bickering and the dumbassery that's in there. People go in there to learn the industry. And there's people that purposely go in there that make stupid comments and like to nitpick and start fights over something that somebody's trying to learn something. They go in there for help. Um, that's one of the reasons why I do the videos that I do is to help people out um, so they can gain a little bit of knowledge. They can go out there, run for the right rate. Um, they don't get stuck with a shit company. Um, they don't get stuck with bad fleet owners, stuff like that. So, with that being said, um, the reason why I dislike a lot of the Facebook expediting groups is because of the stupidity, the bickering, the just, just dumbass stuff that really hinders and puts a sour taste in people's mouth when they're trying to get into the industry. You'll get a new guy. Hey, um, you know, who's hiring? And someone has to make a dumbass comment, right? Hey, uh, what what's a good rate to run for? Someone's got to make a dumbass comment. Most Some people will help out. Some people will be the uh, nuisances and uh, naysayers in the Facebook expediting groups. I think I used to belong to seven or eight of them or something like that. And I'm down to, I think I'm down to two. I'm down to two. So I used to belong to, I was kind of a founding father of uh, transportation life. I left that group too, uh, just because of the dumbass stuff I'd see posted in there or uh, people trying to um, make themselves sound better than what they actually are or save face. I've seen that quite a bit of times. So I just got tired of it and... Uh, I left. I'm um, sure I can always go back. I never cause problems or whatever in there. Um, but I'm kind of done with the Facebook groups just for that aspect of it. Um, it just gets annoying. And it was the same thing with Expeditors Online. Just the stupidity and the negative Nellies and everything in there. It's like, I don't want to, I don't want to read it. I don't even really like I don't really like going on Facebook because of just it being Facebook, FBI book. Um, that's what I call it, FBI book. Because uh, you go to post something and if it's not something Facebook, even though it's true and factual, because it's not a part of their agenda, i.e. COVID related, um, they delete it. They won't allow you to even post something on social media that is 100% fact. It's true. And that just kind of pisses me off that they do that. Um, so I'm not a big fan of Facebook because of the censorship. I don't believe it should be censored to a certain extent. If it's true, let it fly. If it's not, kibosh it or let people decide for themselves form of entertainment um but i i don't go on there putting people down and making people feel like a piece of garbage or something but uh i honestly if um i didn't feel the way that i feel about facebook i'd probably start my own facebook group but there's like 50 billion of them out there i figured well, what's the sense you know what I mean? Then you got to monitor it and babysit people. And I don't have time for that. I really don't want to make time for that. I'm busy doing my own life, busy doing work, 
and providing for a family. I don't have time to babysit 50,000 other drivers, um, nor listen to other people's BS. But um, yeah, I'll leave that here going on probably close to six minutes now. So just to give, give you my take on why I dislike Facebook expediting groups. But uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. Hope you guys have a Happy New Year. Hopefully 2022 is better. And uh, we'll catch you later. Bye for now.